week two, workout two, time to get moving. Right, so if we just start to take a warm up, get the blood flowing and get the heart rate and the lungs working a little bit harder. Right, so whenever you're ready, start to take a march on the spot. And again, as with all the other warm ups, we're just looking to increase the range as we're doing this. As you feel warmer, go a little bit higher. So from there, just take it to a bit of a jog, just small for now. Try and keep it on the balls of the feet if you can as well. Good stuff. Nice and easy. And then we're just gonna work the range. So start to pull your heels up towards your backside, just six inches at a time. We'll go that high as well, that works too. Good stuff. Keep it going. Then from there, all I want you to do is just step to the side, take a step curl. Good work. And same thing, so we don't have to go too deep just yet. As you start to feel warmer, go a little bit wider, go a little bit deeper as well. So you can come in a little bit lower, put a bit of a dip in there. Good stuff. Nice job. Another 10 seconds here. Good stuff. And then just ease it down, bring it back to a job on the spot again. And this time I just want you to bring your knees a little bit higher. So we're about 45 degrees, maybe a little bit higher than that. Good stuff. And then start to use your arms as well. Think about warming them up as well. Good stuff. Excellent, bring that down and then just feet hip width apart and we're just jumping from side to side, so a bit of skipping. So from there, literally, side to side. Side to the other. Good stuff, imagine we're skipping right while you're doing it. Good work. And then from there, same thing as the last workout, so shallow squats, take your feet about hip width and a half, and then from there, just nice and shallow, sit back onto your heels, and then come back up again. So go as deep as you want to, but you are still warming up, so you don't need to go rock bottom just yet, good stuff. So breathe out as you come up as well. And same thing as the last warm up, we're just gonna hold the next one down, and then just come forwards into an inchworm. So inch your hands forwards, all the way into a front support position, Good stuff, and then pull yourself back. Good work, that's one. So just looking for five. Good stuff, so this is gonna warm up the whole body. It's a really good exercise to do. You don't have to go straight into these, and you can take a recovery in between the two as well. So it's literally loads of options for everybody. Good work. Last one. Good job, then from there. Last thing, just take another run again, but start to take the knees higher. We're looking about hip width now. So it should be warmer, heart and lungs should be working a little bit more. Should be ready to go. Now, 10 seconds, just take it even higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Just easy down, quick shake off. If you guys are warm enough, we'll just go straight into the workout. Right. So that first exercise, we've got speed steps. So from here, all you're gonna do is step out, step out, then step in and step in. So you can do this as a march or you can take this up to a higher option. Ready? So 30 seconds on, start off a, a bit of a jog. Three, two, one, let's go. So out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, thick, bum, 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 faster, 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 go, 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 go. Good work. Keep going, keep going. Come, rapid, keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds left. Out, out, in, in, faster, 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 faster. Go, 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 go. And relax. Good stuff. So next time through, we'll just go a little bit quicker. Um, from there, stepping lunges. So we're gonna go forwards and alternate the legs. So as you guys are doing this, what you want is your legs hip width apart as you step. So if you've got a mirror or anything, you'll be able to see as you go. Um, and the front leg, wants to stay in line the whole way through. Try and keep your knee in line with your ankle. So if you guys want to have a go, let's get to it. Good stuff. Okay, nice. So you don't have to go too deep with these too early. You're gradually going to increase the range. We're looking for 90 degrees with both legs. And ideally, your back knee should be about a fist distance away from the floor as you come down. Good job, halfway through, 15 seconds left. Everybody loves lunges. Good stuff. So as you get tired as well, you'll feel yourself start to collapse forwards. Try and lift your chest all the way through so your back leg is doing the work. Very nice, guys. That's 30 seconds done. Take a second off. Shake it off. 
Yeah, next exercise we're going to go for single leg bridges. So unlike the last workout where we switched from leg to leg, this one you just can stay on one for the whole set. So it's going to be a bit more of a challenge. So take a seat when you're ready. Got a whole 10 seconds off first. And then from there, all you're going to do, hands down again, so knuckles to the floor so it makes it a little bit harder. And then from there, just lift your hips. Keep your core tight, take one leg off the floor. 30 seconds just on that one leg, let's go. So try and stop just a couple of inches away from the floor and then lift back up. This is going to be more challenging, so you can cut back to alternate leg ones as we did in our previous workout if you need to. Or you can touch down in between. Good work guys, you are halfway through. 15 seconds more. Should be feeling this in the quad, in the glute, in the hamstring, and in the lower back. Five seconds. So breathe out as you push up. Two, one, zero. So take a second, burn into your mind which leg you've just done as well, because we've got a whole circuit to do. <laughs> and when we come back to it, your body will let you know which one you did pretty quickly. Guys, good stuff. So next one, mountain climbers. So options with this, you can tap or you can go for the higher impacts option where you alternate, alternate in the legs much faster. So up to you which one you want to do. So when you're ready, into a front support position. And then from there, let's go, 30 seconds. So start off nice and easy, lovely pace. So you can see the hips are low, they're keeping the core tight as well because the spine is nice and neutral throughout. And if you guys want to go harder, you're 10 seconds in now, you can start to alternate them faster into a bit of a jog. Guys, well done, keep it going. Five seconds left. Keep everything tight, three, two, one, and relax. So. 30 seconds off, just recover. We've got shoulder taps next. So there, we're gonna be in a front support position and literally all we're doing is just from there, tapping the shoulder and switching sides. So again, it's gonna work your core hard. If you want a harder option and you're feeling this isn't challenging you, you can add a push up in between these. All right, when you're ready, front support position. And then from there, lock everything in tight and let's go. Awesome. So try and keep your hips still if you can. The further in you've got your legs, the harder it's gonna make this. So if you take your, hip, your legs hip width apart, it'll give you a little bit more stability when you do it. That's it. Good stuff. Excellent. So you can do this on your knees if your knees cut back a little bit. As I said before, if you wanna make this harder, try a single push up and then tap the shoulder in between and then switch sides. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff breather. So we're going to keep the focus on the core. So we're going to move on to side planks. So you can go on one knee, one toe or straight onto your toes, completely up to you guys. Loads of options with this and again it's going to challenge your core. So if you guys want to come onto your sides. Good stuff. So let's try it with a toe and a knee to begin with. And as soon as you're ready to lift up, keep the hips tight and just stay there. And what we'll do when we get to halfway through this, we're going to lift onto the sides of our feet. So we've got both legs straight and we're going to take a harder option. Guys, good work. 10 seconds gone. So try and keep your core tight when you're there and imagine an iron rod all the way down your back so you're keeping everything tight and in line. Halfway through, so if you can, just put your feet together, one on top of the other, and stay there. Lovely job. Good work, guys. Keep it going. If you're shaking, it's normal. <laughs> and relax. Take a second, good work. Okay, we're gonna stay down there, seat crunches, just to finish the first circuit off. So, from there, it's like being a Venus flytrap. Literally, you're gonna bring your legs and your upper body up at the same time. So if you can, you're gonna to touch your elbows to your knees, your feet are gonna come down, and the toes are just gonna to touch the floor, but there's no weight transfer. So it's gonna challenge your whole body. Right, when you're ready, take a seat, lean back, fingertips by the side of your temple, and then crunch up, and then just tap the toes down towards the floor. Imagine you're hinging at your hips, Good. Good stuff. Okay, so don't feel you have to come all the way up either. You can do this with your lower back against the floor too. So it's more of a crunch than it is an actual V-sit. Good work, guys. Five seconds, loads of options. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. So that's the first rotation through. So we're gonna do a whole lot again. <laughs> 30 seconds to recover, grab a drink of water if you want to. You have a whole 20 seconds, and then we're back to our first exercise. 
So this time we're gonna build on what we've done last time. Out, out, in, in, and we're going to speed it up faster and faster and faster. Five seconds. <laughs> no pressure. No, let's go straight in. Right, when you're ready, let's do it. So out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, thick. Bam, 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 faster, 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 go, 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 go. Good work. Keep going, keep going. Come, rapid, keep it up, keep it up, 10 seconds left. Keep going. Good stuff, and relax. So you don't have to go all out for this from the off. You can cut back anytime you need to or start off low and bring it up higher, but this will get your heart rate up. Guys, good job. So natural progression from there into lunges. Legs are nice and warm anyway. Just a couple of seconds off, five seconds to recover. And then exactly the same thing. Think posture, chest up, abs in tight and 90 degrees with both sides. As soon as you're ready, let's go. Good. The other thing, arms on these, it's very difficult to know what to do with them. If you can take the opposite arm forwards to the knee, that will square your hips up and make this a little bit easier. Or you can take both arms as well. Just try not to relax them and let them dangle because they'll tend to misalign your hips as you do them. Good stuff guys, keep it going. Another 10 seconds. Good work. And from there, just relax. Nicely done. Shake it off, single leg bridges. Can you remember which leg you did it with? <laughs> Good stuff. So from there, exactly the same thing with this. Try and keep your core tight. Hands just a little bit of distance away, normally about 12 inches away from the body. If you start with them too narrow, your balance is gonna be compromised. And we just wanna focus on the working muscles rather than worrying about slipping or falling. Right, as soon as you're ready, Remember which leg it was you took up. Breathe out, lift your hips. And 30 seconds, let's go. Good stuff. And again, if this gets too tough, you can touch down in between. Absolutely nothing stopping you, taking it back just a couple of notches so you keep the movement going and you keep the exercise intensity up. Nicely done, guys. So remember, as you get tired, your form might suffer a little bit, just slow it down. Focus on the movement, good work. Remember to breathe out on the way up as well. Five seconds. And relax. Work. Second off. And then we're on to mountain climbers. Everybody's favorite. So again, same thing. Front support position, whatever option you guys want to go with. There's no pressure. This is why it's so good working out with somebody because you immediately feel peer pressure to work harder. Right, five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Any option you guys want to do. If you are working out with somebody, they're probably quietly judging you, but take any option you want to do. <laughs> good stuff, 20 seconds. Last 10 seconds. So if there's a little bit more there. Good stuff. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Nicely done. So we're going to stay in this position. We've got shoulder taps next. 30 seconds off. Give you in the lungs. Drink if you need to. And same thing with the shoulder taps. You could go knees, you could go toes, you could go just with the shoulder taps, or you could add a push up in, in between. So loads of options available to you. And go for something that challenges you. So, five seconds when you're ready. Assume the position. Good stuff. Right, 30 seconds, let's go. So tap. And try to remember with the feet as well. The more narrow your base is, the harder this is gonna be. So you'll find your body starts to rotate a little bit more. So ideally, go hip width apart with your feet. Good stuff. 10 seconds left. I'm gonna try a push up. Yes! Good stuff. Awesome. Two, one, 
So I, nicely done. <laughs> got to give it a try. Right, good work. Side planks, we've only got two exercises today. So we've got side plank and then we've got seat crunches and that is it. So, can you remember which side you're on? If in doubt and you get into position and it hurts a lot on one side, you've probably gone the wrong way. <laughs> Guys, so when you're ready, start with your knees and toes again and just lift the hips. Good work, so 30 seconds here. The arm is just there to balance and it's the same thing. If you relax the arm, it's gonna move the rest of your body as well. So we stay lifted and that's why we had the arm level with the shoulder. Good work guys. And again, when we get to the halfway marker, if you can lift up and go a little bit higher, that'd be great. So we're halfway. So if you can come onto your feet, excellent. So we're going on the blade of the underfoot. Good stuff. Good work, five seconds left. Keep it going, hold through the shaking, and time. Excellent. So that's C crunches, and then that's it. That's the whole thing blasted out. So, take a seat when you're ready. Um, options with this, you can do it so your back is flat to the floor, or you can come up a little bit higher. Completely up to you, and a lot of it's got to do with back flexibility and hip flexor strength as well. So don't feel you have to come up into a position where you're completely lifted. Right, take a seat. Let's do it, 30 seconds left. And as soon as you're ready, let's go. Good stuff. So imagine you're hinging from the hip. Like I said earlier, the Venus flytrap, the whole body just comes up from both sides. If you wanted to make this harder, you could take the legs into a longer extension in between and not touch down. So completely up to you. Loads of options and loads of challenges. Your workout is your choice. Good stuff, guys. Three, two, one, and relax. That is it. We need to cool down and you're dusted. So from there, just roll onto your knees. Come onto your knees, and we're gonna do a similar thing to the other guys. All I want you to do first, just take one leg out to 90 degrees for adductors. Good stuff, so toes stay down if you can. That's it, and then just tip forwards onto your elbows. I should feel this on the inside of your leg that's straight. If you can't feel it, then just take the leg out a little bit further. That's absolutely fine. Good stuff. And again, don't feel you have to go straight onto your elbows with this. It is quite an intense stretch on the inside of the leg. So you can start off just lifted and maybe with your fingertips on the floor. Good stuff. And then from there, just take that leg behind you. And we're just gonna put the weight into the back foot for a calf stretch. So just come up onto your hands rather than your elbows. That'll give you a bit more weight to put through your heel. Just push back into it. Good stuff. So we're gonna put a little bit more emphasis into the calves with this one because of the speed steps that they were doing. They put more work into the lower legs. Good stuff. Now take the leg you've got back and bring it forward so that your toe is level with your knee, if you can. So your foot flat on the floor, that's it. Ground the heel and then I want you to lean your body weight forward so you feel the stretch um, in the front leg. That's exactly it, yeah. So this is gonna stretch the lower part of your calf, your soleus, but you're using your body weight to leave yourself forwards so you can relax more into the stretch. Good stuff. And then just ease that back. You're gonna come back onto both knees, take your other leg out to 90 degrees for the adductors on the other side. Good stuff. And again, same thing, just relax. Sink down if you can. Good work. And then same thing, just take that leg behind you for calves. Come onto your hands, get the body weight into it and try and get the heel to the floor. Quite a nice way to do the cool down because you're using your body weight and you're in comfortable positions. So you should use this and be able to get a little bit lower than normal. Good work, then bring that leg straight through, flat on the floor, level with your knee if you can. And again, ground the heel, then apply your body weight into it. So if you can't feel this, it's normally because your foot isn't far enough back. So if you can't feel this in your lower calf, just pull the toe back slightly behind the knee until you do feel it, then apply more body weight to it work. Nicely done guys. And then 
from there. Just ease that stretch off and take the leg you've got just forwards. Oh no, so still bent. And then hip flexors with the rear side. Now, from there, take your back arm and then just take the back arm over the top. So the knee that's down, you want that leg, that arm to come over the top. Is that the other arm? Good stuff. So this will just increase the stretch into the hip flexors. High five for a good workout. Good stuff. Just relax back into a hamstring stretch now. So straighten your front leg and then tip forwards. Nicely done. So again, same thing as the other group. You could stay higher with this. If you want a more intense stretch, you can come back further and then you're able to fold yourself in half through your back. Work, then release the tension off, switch sides, so we're hip flexors on the other side. And then once you're stable and comfortable, the knee that you've got on the floor, take that arm over the top. Good. front leg hamstrings again. Good work, let the tension go. Just bring yourself to a standing position. And then from there, triceps. So just bring the arm up over the head. Good work. And again, to increase the stretch, try and lift the posture and you'll get it more. Good work. Same thing with the other side. Is that arm down, quads. If you're at home, your legs are a little bit shaky. It's always good to hold onto the wall or something else um, close by when you're doing this stretch. Good stuff, switch sides onto the other one. Ease it to the floor and just open up your chest for the last stretch. So just from there, take your arms back. So level with the shoulders, stretch them back, and job done. Guys, well done. Good work. According to the NHS, one in four adults and one in 10 children are thought to experience mental illness throughout their lifetime. There are many ways we can improve and manage our mental health, one of which is physical activity. Exercise can increase endorphins, which are known as your body's feel-good chemicals, and can decrease stress hormones like cortisol, both of which can result in a natural mood boost. Physical activity can also focus your mind, which may distract you from having negative thoughts. Exercise can include anything from walking to yoga to HIIT exercises like you've seen today. As long as you're moving, that's what's essential to keep your mind and body healthy.